In a summary, what is this lens? It is a compromise. It is the best compromise anybody could ask for. You know, you don't want to spend a ton of money on several lenses. This is the way to go. I think it's the best book, you know, and uh, spoiler alert, Sony lenses are very expensive. That's what we're looking at today. Coming up. All right, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, I'll, I'll appreciate if you do subscribe, um, like, comment, you know, give me feedback and uh, help me improve and help the channel grow. Okay, I appreciate all of that. Before I get to the review proper, I like to, you know, just go ahead and uh, say something about what's going on right now with the coronavirus. I like to say, you know, people should keep their heads up and stay positive if you guys if you're, good, you're cool with that go ahead in the comments below you know let us know where you right where you're watching from um, and then what's the situation like right there we are humans you know we can just come here hey this is time for sunny sunny lens lens review and things are going on in the world you just act like it's it's non-existent it's everywhere you know so let us know where you are and how this situation is going on out there and um, i appreciate that i really would you know I'd love to know and there's no other means for me to you know like interact with you guys and say what what's going on really there how you guys faring we should have such conversations like i was out today i saw a lot of um, people buying um, toiletries and um, water, packs of water, and you know, they had to put restrictions on numbers you could buy. You know, actually, most of the things with hand sanitizer was already gone. It's not like there's no none in stock. But I'll, I'll cut mine there. If I, if I have anything more, I'll go ahead and put it in the comment. But it's not to create fear. It's just let you, letting you know that what's going on. Like I heard some parts of the world are already on like um, state of an emergency, if I'm right, if that's the right word to use. But um, yeah, go ahead and, and let us know in the community on the comments below what is going on in your zone are you guys okay over there i am new to sunny and um, this is my first lens the kit lens that came with this camera and i tried it i've used it for a couple of months now and i and i love it it's not the sharpest out there but it's very useful in a summary what is this lens it is a compromise it is the best compromise anybody could ask for. You know, you, you don't want to spend a ton of money on several lenses. This is the way to go. I think it's the best book, you know. And uh, spoiler alert, Sony lenses are very expensive. I don't know how you guys cope, actually, but I'm scared, you know. I'm happy with the result. I know that it's like great results you know but coming to this i want to be careful i want to know if i'm gonna go all the way you know and i'm gonna go eventually but i'm gonna take it easy and that's what I'm, that's what i'm trying to preach here if you're new to film and you're starting up this lens will take you there it's got all the range that you need on that note i start my review number one it's the build quality if you take a look at this lens closely, this lens is built like a tank, like like the big brothers, like the expensive ones. Uh, this is about a $600 lens, um, but it looks in the class of the 2000s and the 2500s, you know, aspect. But the build quality, I wasn't gonna add that, I wasn't gonna include that, you know, uh, initially but uh, I thought about it it encouraged me when I want to buy a lens I usually want to look at the lens that will make me look serious no matter how cheap there's that comfort that says when I invest in this this is gonna be around for me so that even if you want to resell it you know that about lenses the resale value is always high. just uh, for as a side uh, tip always have this this uh, hood it is so important if you decide to go with this lens get this hood uh 
this lens this lens will not do well with flares this hood the hood actually protects and, and that i mean i've seen that firsthand even sony recommends you they, they recommend you to keep this thing on it is there for your purpose if you lose it buy another one it's that important number two pro will be the price um even though it's uh, 600 bucks is not a cheap price but for for a sony lens with this range it is cheap it is very cheap for me i've been i mean i looked around the sony lenses it's probably the best kit lens you know most of the other ones have variable ranges but that's where i'm gonna go next my number three pro is that you know it's a constant f-stop even though it's at four but it's constant all through a lot of the other kit, kit lenses usually about 3.5 to 5.5 or 6.5 something like that you know you don't want to you don't want to zoom in and see picture go dark as you zoom out and zoom in because they are on different f-stops and then again you can rock in on a gimbal because when you that f-stop those constant apertures you know when you zoom out or when you zoom in or zoom out the lens don't protrude like it doesn't extend you know it stays in place you know which is perfect for a game for gimbal use right it's rare you know the next pro about this lens is um the range it covers it, co it doesn't just cover this range but this is the most used range and now let's talk about the ranges here in this range 18 to 105 you have 18 all right obviously you see you could vlog with uh this lens at 18 millimeters definitely enough for you to wide enough for you to get your vlogs on but uh if you notice the uh tone in my voice it's not because the lens is heavy it's because the camera is heavy <laughs> which is vital you have 20 you have 20 some people are crazy about 20 24 Hollywood um, movies, uh, Canon FDs, um, Zeiss, 28 is another focal lens that's like popular. Um, then there's 30, then of course 35 is basic, it's like, you know, and then there's um, sometimes some people deal with 45, I've seen 45, but uh, 50 definitely, that's major, there's 55, you know, there's 60. We know that you know 70 there's and all that but it's not a, those are not common it's 85 85 and 100 those are basic let me break it down like by popular demand 18 very important 35 very important 50 very important um 85 very important and 100 five focal lengths from this lens it's more but i'm insane five that you don't have to worry about you know if you're doing a short movie you got you're ready to go this is the basic reason why they use this lens as the as the kit lenses for film schools they use this lens you know as the kit lens for the sony fs5 and that's another video uh, discussion for another video because i'll tell you why this sony fs5 is still going to be around for, for a long time all right next on the list is the it's got oss optical steady shot if your camera don't have you know uh, stabilization this that's a good addition right there especially um those of you who do long zooms you know when you're zooming even if you're on a tripod you know the fact that you're zooming you know, there tend to be some shake this will help in minimizing all that this thing rocks especially if your camera is good you got a good sensor this thing will rock you will take you like like for example my black magic pocket cinema camera 4k god help me ha ah, that camera um the sensor is so powerful shoots in raw yep but you know like I, I will imagine if i use this lens on it if it's possible i don't think it is there's no adaptation for sony lenses sony is very selfish sorry to say or private maybe that's the better word um autofocus from any fantastic lens will not work on your body at least for the fs5 and most lenses that i've had uh on most cameras uh, that i've seen most sony cameras 
the lenses when you put other lenses from other third party uh, companies um it works you still get good picture and all that but the electronics the no communication sony just don't want to do that with anybody so that's uh that's a bummer because uh it would have been lovely that you could get all the full you know attributes you know from a lens while using a sony camera they say date your camera marry your lenses right this is what would stay longer with you but all i'm saying is um if you do have a good camera that can handle that um the sensor that had, that's got a good sensor it can even enhance what this lens would do even further yeah almost every sony camera right now will do the justice to this lens because sony lenses let's face it they're, you know sony cameras are doing a good job you know next will be autofocus this lens got auto focus ability um we don't see i don't see a switch here I don't see a switch that you know from auto focus to manual but it works real decently and I, I tried it a couple of times and ooh it's so fast like well you know along with this uh, Sony lens and that's when I wanted to a uh, um, Sony camera the FS5 is still doing a good great job like FS5 Mark II by the way it's not FS5 it's the FS5 Sony FS5 Mark II okay so um i don't know about the mac one how fast it was but this is definitely almost there with the today autofocus you know so along with this lens it was quite damn good i don't depend on autofocus but even for me uh who don't depend that much on autofocus i still need that quality in a lens because um like if i throw this on a gimbal I want that thing to rock because I won't be able to touch and keep the focus on and dial or, you know, I mean, the reality of uh, using a follow focus, it's for a one man run and gun style, no, it's not real. Auto focus will be always be useful in a, it's definitely a plus for any lens. So, and discard it, that's a plus. And, and it works really great. This lens is, I mean, decent sharp. It's got decent sharpness. Uh, and then every footage from this lens, I'm going to leave raw so you see. Another thing that most people don't talk about, or I guess a lot of people don't know this lens has that quality. Uh, and, and I'm talking about power focal lens. That this lens is power focal. And what is per focal? It's the ability for you to uh, focus on a subject and zoom in or out, but that place you focus, wherever you focus on, remains in focus throughout the range. In other words, if if you if you needed to shoot, you know, like in a wedding, for example, that's why one of the reasons why this lens is good for weddings. For example, in a wedding, uh, and you you are back uh, somewhere in the in the audience or in the crowd, and the couple is down far away. You zoom in on the couple, maybe giving their kiss. You know, you may kiss the bride, and you are far away. Now with this lens, you could get up to a hundred or a hundred and five. I usually um, try to stay away from the edges. You may kiss the bride, and you zoom in to get that. Uh, you zoom in, your picture is not in focus. You quickly, before the kiss, you, you zoom, rack focus, and now they are sharp in focus. Now, any time from then on that you pull back, pull forward, pull back, right from then on, this lens is going to keep you, keep the couple in focus, regardless of how far or how close you become. That's not a cheap quality, trust me. Not so many lenses can do that. Not so many lenses can do that. In fact, the lenses that can that are per focal, this is the only lens that I know is per focal and uh, still cheap. Every other lens that is per focal, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I don't know any. I've been around a little bit, you know. I've been into 
production for a while. I still don't know any perfocal lens that is less than 2000. It's a very important quality, you know? So that's why if you put this on a gimbal, even without autofocus, this quality keeps the camera, um, your subject in focus, regardless of where you move your gimbal, the ability to uh, rack focus smoothly. And that's that's a quality, that's a, um, the quality of the lens being per focal, you know? Um, it can rack focus smoothly like I'll show you in the clip, you know, the ease, the perfocal quality is the ease of which it can do that. It's the same thing, right. you know. The next uh, pros I would like to talk about is the power zoom. This lens has power zoom and you have two choices on this lens to zoom on this ring which is smooth and buttery to experience but you know sometimes if you if this is the way to go if you could just push on this gently and just stay at a steady pace if you want to go fast you know you could do it wrap push it down and it goes smoothly if you want to go slow you could rock it push it gently and stay stay there it starts to go quietly you know it's very buttery smooth zoom that's where i come to the con what's the con it's the speed it's not so fast as f4 even though it's constant speed it is still not so fast most situations you will be fighting with light um, but if you give it light it will give you a good picture and uh, uh, especially with your, a good camera sensor like the black magic if this was going to go on it in low light we'll be able to perform effectively i'll show you footage that i shot on my uh, um, black magic pocket cinema 4k using the canon fd and that's the same speed as this f4 and it's a set zoom 70 to 210 f4 now I use it indoors, I use it outdoors on the Black Mag Magic Pocket Cinema camera 4K, God help me. Not that it's from this lens, but it gives you an idea what F4 can do if you've got a good camera. So what am I saying? It's not so bad. Really guys, it's not so bad. Even though it's a con, hey, life goes on, you could live around it, you could walk around it and get the best out of this lens. That's why I say, you know, the pros outweigh the cons, then the lens can be highly be recommended. So in the conclusion, do I recommend this lens? Yes, I would recommend it. It is what I'm using, it's what I'm gonna be with for a while. So, I guess I've said it all, I guess we're done here. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what your favorite lenses are. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We'll love you on board. Those of you who are already here, who've been rocking with me, man, you guys rock. I appreciate you. I'll never forget you. And um, I can't wait for giveaways to come so that I can uh, you know, say thank you for, your stand, for standing by me. What's your takeaway from today's video? What you learned, what you would love to hear about that I didn't mention, go ahead and let me know. I appreciate that uh, for next time. Hey guys, YouTube just gave me a new feature called the upload feature. It allows you to make a donation to support the channel, which will be very much appreciated. You'll find it just below the screen if you want to support the channel. Thank you. All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Banky Wellington here, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, giving a special shout out to Alec Godwin's YouTube page. Much love. Nigeria's most wanted. <laughs>If you haven't seen my last video, which is my documentary, a two minutes documentary, check out the video here. Otherwise, check out this video that YouTube thinks you will like. Thank you.